series Rogue One and the Force Awaken figures uh, from Disney so um, I actually decided to pick these up because they had them on clearance for I think $5.99 so I went and picked these up got a great deal on these now uh, I'm not a fan of these but uh the only reason why i'm not a fan of these is number one i haven't ever owned one and number two i'm not a fan of die cast uh figures and vehicles uh, i am a plastic fan um so uh i decided that i would take a dive into the die cast figures with disney since they made them uh very reasonable and i thought it would be a very good review for the channel so we're going to take a look at these figures guys and I'm gonna give you my opinion on the die cast Disney figures I'll tell you what I think let's see so uh, getting a look at the head scopes just judging them from uh, the inside of the package um, I can tell you that there are some hits and there are definitely some misses um, with the uh, human sculpted figures um, there's Finn right there and uh, we're gonna pull these guys out of the package so don't worry guys we're gonna get a look at these guys out of the package um, there's our death trooper there then of course we have Brody and uh, that's a side profile we're gonna get a, a, a full face uh, look at him as well Cassian pretty good likeness there um, but as I mentioned uh, there are definitely some true misses when it comes to the the face and head sculpt um, with some of these figures uh, just judging them inside of the package I haven't opened the package on any of these guys yet um, K2SO right there and then uh, one of my favorites is the uh, Imperial Astromech. Uh, awesome, awesome looking figure, and I, I really like the scale. Uh, I'm also gonna compare this to the uh, Hasbro uh, Black Series line, the six inch line, uh, to see how they stack up uh, versus them. And I'm also gonna, I picked up quite a few of the First Order uh, Troopers. There's our squad leader there. I also picked up our uh, uh, Imperial Trooper. Uh, Stormtrooper there as well, our classic trooper, uh, and then uh, there's also the Riot uh, Trooper there as well. So we're going to um, actually uh, get a look at uh, com a comparison of those guys and see how they stack up against one another, uh, the Hasbro uh, version versus these uh, die cast uh, uh, figures, w which are quite heavy, very heavy. Uh, we're going to get these guys out of the package, guys, so stay tuned. So we got everybody out of the box and posed. And I can tell you guys, it was not easy at all. Uh, these things weigh a lot. Um, and then of course, uh, if there are any manufacturing issues with loose joints or uh, anything like that, uh, you will have problems with these figures. Uh, so um, they look good. Uh, some of them look really, really, really good. Uh, the Astromech there, uh, as well as the Death Trooper is probably my favorite uh, of them all. Uh, the worst in appearance, and I believe I, I got a, a really terrible one, an awful one. Uh, if you look at the paint app, so if you look at the paint apps uh, on the helmet on that stormtrooper, uh, you can see it's it's uh, missing some paint at the top where the uh, black uh, rim is uh, there. And then um, I'm gonna get a real close up look 
if you look at the helmet, it looks like someone took uh, some white out and like tried to make it white again at the top. <laughs> and, like it was damaged or something. And then there's also uh, some markings there on the chest where again, someone looks like they took some white out. And then um, I also noticed uh, in the joints of that figure, uh, it looks like some white paint got into the joints. The, so the arm, uh, the left arm doesn't raise up all the way. Uh, so just awful, awful figure uh, right there. Um, and then also, uh, I do love the look of the First Order uh, Stormtroopers. They look really, really good. Um, the uh, melee trooper there, and I forget his, uh, what, what, what they call him, uh, but uh, Trader, I guess, is, is one of the names they have for him. Uh, but, uh, and, and he's an awesome figure. He looks great, right? He has the, his shield. He has the melee weapon. Um, he looks great. Um, but again, these are weighty figures and they do not stand well. Uh, he is the worst of them, probably. And uh, the weapon doesn't actually fit in his hand uh, too well. And, and there's uh, some other issues uh, with the weapons uh, with some of the other figures. Uh, for example, going back to our uh, Stormtrooper here, um, if I can get a look at the gun, and I hope you guys can see that because I'm kind of shooting this at a weird angle, but his finger doesn't reach the, uh, the, the hole at all uh, in, on the gun. So uh, that is not something that is too uh, cool. First Order Trooper uh, is not bad at all. Uh, there are some uh, issues with standing. It's just that the troopers are, are, are heavier uh, than the other figures. And uh, so there's a, a little bit of problem with getting him to stand. Uh, also, uh, Bayes uh, is also uh, terrible uh, as far as weight is concerned. He is very, very heavy, uh, very, very top heavy, especially uh, with the, the backpack, the, the items that are on his back there. Uh, there's also a cape uh, back there. I, I, I want to get back there, but uh, I mean, even if I come close uh, to him, he might fall over uh, there. Okay, so we're going to um, go over uh, Baze real quick. And the reason why I'm going to go over him real quick is because he is probably one of the most problematic uh, of the uh, figures here in this line. Uh, again, uh, it's very hard to get him to stand. I'm not sure if he's going to fall over in the next couple of moments. Uh, or not. Um, well, there he goes. All right, so now that we have him back standing, uh, hopefully he'll stand for more than two seconds. Um, the, the other issue with him is that, um, as you can see, I haven't actually changed his pose. I have him posing there with his gun right there, right? Well, the problem is that, uh, again, just like with uh, some of the other figures, uh, the finger does not, uh, the, as a matter of fact, if you look at the gun itself, there's not even an actual finger hole uh, for the gun. It's just a black painted spot uh, on the gun, uh, which tells me that he was never even meant to hold the gun in any position where he would be shooting it. Uh, and you, and it's very obvious because you actually cannot get him to hold the gun uh, in, a, in a forward fashion as if he was shooting it. Uh, which is really, really sad uh, for this figure um, because he looks great. I mean, look at him, guys. I mean, look at the scope. I mean, he looks absolutely great. And uh, one of the things with uh, these figures is, um, you know, that they're, they're hit and miss. Uh, look at Cassie in there. I mean, great scope there. And then you look at Sharif Emwe, and he's awful. And so is Baze. He's awful. Calling. Um, and then uh, you look at another example. So you get a look at Han Solo. Not a bad scope. Not not the best scope I've ever seen, but not a bad scope uh, for these Disney figures. And then you look at Ray. Ray looks like a cartoon character. She doesn't even look like she has any depth to her. Uh, face goal and the same with 
uh, our boy Finn here. I mean, he looks like some kind of baby doll or something. I mean, he doesn't even doesn't even look like Finn at all. Like they, they didn't even try. Uh, they, they, at least with uh, Han Solo, you could tell they tried. You could tell it looks looks pretty good. Not 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 the best again, but pretty good. Um, so uh, hit and miss with the facial uh, sculpts there. Uh, Brody's not bad. He he looks pretty good. Um, again, not the best, but not uh, completely awful. Uh, Jen is is also uh, fairly decent. Um, you know, not bad. You know, they're they're hit and miss. Um, yeah, Cherie, I just don't care for. Uh, I just I, I don't think they they hit it. Uh, with that. I was gonna go over articulation with these guys, but uh, I mean, it's just gonna be such a pain uh, to demonstrate articulation. So uh, I'm just gonna uh, go over the articulation verbally here with you guys. So um, you get all the normal uh, movements uh, with the arms uh, up and down and around. Um, uh, legs movements are, 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 are typical uh, for these figures. Uh, the, one of the issues is that the you can't get the arms uh, to go across the chest. So let's say, for instance, if you wanted to have the figure cross their arms, uh, you wouldn't be able to do that because there is no bicep uh, twist uh, for uh, to get the arms in that position. Perfect example here, uh, Sharit Emwi, uh, whose weapon is a two-handed weapon. And again, uh, a, a, another issue. Uh, if you guys take a look at his hand, uh, the finger does not reach the uh, trigger. Uh, so uh, a lot of uh, uh, engineering flaws uh, with these figures. Um, I can see why they were uh, discounted uh, to the amount that they were discounted at. Uh, getting back to the other issue with uh, Emwe, you would not be able to, he, he cannot ha hold his weapon with two hands because you can't get his other hand to come across his body to hold that second handle that is on his uh, weapon. So uh, the best pose that you're gonna get with this weapon is the pose that he's in right now, uh, because you're not gonna be able, unless you're gonna uh, you know, have him shoot it one-handed, uh, which we know this weapon is not a one-handed uh, weapon. You would never pose him uh, in that manner. So, uh, some uh, engineering flaws uh, with the design with uh, some of these figures uh, from Disney. I so. would say, honestly, uh, if you were looking to uh, add any any of these uh, to your collection for whatever reason, um, the best thing that I would suggest is, let's say for instance, uh, maybe you wanna army build the Def Trooper there. Um, and I'm gonna do a comparison on uh, how it compares to the Black Series uh, Death Trooper. Now that figure is a really, really good figure, stands really, really well, uh, has a good uh, uh, center of gravity, so the, the balance is there. Uh, he comes with two uh, weapons, uh, and, and the paint apps on, on the weapons uh, on these guys are actually awesome. Um, so I have to give them uh, a lot of credit for that, and I don't know if you guys can see uh the paint apps on on the weapon there but um they did a really good job with the paint apps on on the weapons i'm gonna pull that weapon out of his hand so you guys can get a better look at it um but i can tell you uh the def trooper is an awesome uh figure and uh depending on if it sizes up uh pretty well with your black series figure uh, you might want to uh, maybe army build this guy uh, because he's going to be more intimidating and uh, imposing, uh, I'm assuming, uh, as compared to the Hasbro version. The Hasbro version uh, seems to be a little bit thinner uh, than this particular guy. Uh, this guy is a, a bit more beefier and, uh, again, is a little bit more intimidating. So uh, we're going to do that comparison. And then, of course, the Astromech, uh, the Imperial Astromech is, is also awesome. Uh, he doesn't come with uh, any other accessories other other than the uh, platform there, uh, but it, I mean he looks awesome, and uh, he is a uh, awesome scale. 
I don't know how he measures up with the uh, six inch line, uh, but he looks really good. So that's among one of my favorites. Uh, and, and I also like uh, Brody there. Uh, he looks awesome. He hasn't fallen at all uh, since I had him up. And he has also has a backpack. Uh, okay. K2SO uh, would be another figure. Let's say, for instance, you wanted to build uh, Army Build uh, Imperial Droids. Uh, so you might want to pick up a couple of the uh, K2SOs, uh, especially at that clearance price uh, that they have them for. And uh, maybe you want to Army Build uh, him as well. Uh, because uh, he's not going to fall over like your boy Maze Bays over there just fell asleep on his face. So, very weighty figure. Uh, not going to stand too long. So, as far as accessories go, uh, the ladies have it hands down, uh, especially with the weaponry. Uh, you see Jen here with her uh, pistol uh, and then of course she has the uh, blaster and then she also has a melee weapon uh, her melee weapon that she uh, uses in the movie uh, so she comes with uh, several uh, very neat accessories and then so again the ladies are holding it down with the accessories Ray comes with BB-8 uh, her staff, Luke Skywalker's saber, as well as the blaster that is given to her by Han. And then she also comes with her backpack uh, that we're gonna get a look at in just a moment. So getting a look at the backpack that Ray comes with, uh, looks very, very good, nice and leathery, uh, great detail. So, uh, you know, you have to give Disney props. I mean, they, they do a really good job with the, the detail. Uh, look at Han's jacket looks very very nice uh, As well as Finn there. Uh, I mean they do well uh, with some of the detail uh, but they are hit and miss and um, You know with these figures uh, You know you want to be able to pose them uh, and have them looking good on the shelf and uh, With some of these face sculpts. I'm just like, you know, you you're not gonna want to have that Finn on your shelf. Uh, that doesn't even look like Finn. That looks like a bootleg figure. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, and then Ray's uh, face scope as well. Um, just not all that great. Uh, and then of course, uh, again, the issues with um, the engineering issues with the uh, fingers not reaching the gun holes. Um, just not what you want uh, out of your figures and you, you could do better uh, with the black series uh, I mean the black series has uh, its issues as well um, but uh, th this elite series yeah you guys need to clean this up a little bit all right so right now we have a battle of the Titans we have Disney's elite series death trooper versus Hasbro's Black Series Death Trooper. Now, um, as you guys can see, uh, if you look at the detail on the uh, Elite Series uh, right there on the belt, uh, you get a little detail. Um, I want you to get a good look at the gun there. Uh, and the red markings are on, on that gun, uh, as opposed to uh, the gray painted gun with the Black Series. Uh, Black Series is on the right, Elite is to the left. Uh, the Elite Def Trooper is obviously a lot beefier, uh, maybe a tad bit taller. Uh, just looking at it, eyeballing it. Um, but definitely more menacing looking and more uh, fearsome looking. So let's say for instance, you wanted to army build uh, the Death Trooper. Um, uh, again, I would say you might wanna go with the Elite Series um, because it's not as weighty as uh, the Stormtroopers and First Order Troopers. 
Um, so you're going to get him to stand. I, I got him to stand uh, easily uh, without uh, his uh, stand there. Uh, he's uh, standing actually on the table. So uh, you can really do uh, well with uh, uh, army building these guys uh, with the Elite Series uh, versus the uh, Black Series. And it and, uh, really hurts me to say that because I'm more pro uh, Black Series. Uh, but when it comes to the uh, Def Trooper, uh, you definitely might want to go with him. I mean, look how the green and the lenses and um, at the bottom of the mask there is so much more apparent uh, on the Elite Series uh, than it is on the uh, Black Series. And then just look how much beefier, how beef much beefier he is. Um, now th there is a, a definitely difference uh, between these two guys. I believe this, um, uh, the Elite Series is a squad leader, even though it doesn't say that on the packaging, uh, but he does have the pauldron there uh, on his shoulder. Um, so I believe he's some type of squad leader or uh, uh, of some higher rank. And obviously has more gear uh, than uh, the, the uh, Black Series uh, figure, uh, but he looked, he just looks so much more beefier and uh, so much more menacing. So uh, again, guys, uh, if you ask me, uh, I would go with the Elite if I was going to army build uh, with the Death Trooper. All right, here we go. Round two, Black Series versus Disney Elite Series. K2SO. So, of course, on the left we have the Disney Elite, and then on the right we have our Black Series. So, plastic versus die cast. So, um, let's start with the uh, Disney Elite. Um, now, again, the, the reason why I, I, I'm uh, comparing these is because uh well for those who are thinking about uh army building these guys uh building up an imperial uh droid force uh if you will uh again uh disney has the elite series on clearance uh depending on uh what area you live in it could be as cheap as six dollars uh maybe even uh ten dollars uh, out here on California, out here in California, I believe they're going for ten dollars uh, a piece on the Elite Series. Um, however, I got mine a little bit cheaper than that um, due to a discount uh, card that I had. So um, I got mine a little bit cheaper uh, than the ten dollar clearance price. So uh, again, just to uh, get a closer look and a comparison on these guys. Now, the one thing that Hasbro did give you. Uh, they gave you uh, some damage nicks here and there, uh, as you can see on K2SO's head there, on the shoulder, um, various parts of the arm. Um, so there's some wear uh, there, uh, which is always good for the Star Wars universe. Where um, the and they, and they give you some nicks and 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 whatnot here on the uh, Disney Elite as well. Um, but it's a little bit cleaner. It's a whole lot cleaner, as a matter of fact. But then, uh, of course, they uh, hit you with some detail. Uh, the joints in between the arms, uh, the chest plate there, uh, as compared to uh, his chest. Um, so you get a little bit more detail with the Elite. Um, now, with the Hasbro version, I'm gonna back it up a little bit, a little blurry. Um, they give you some really good details in regards to the definition in the body, where uh, the Elite tries to cheat a little bit and they give you some paint uh, to kind of shade those areas in. So uh, they try to cheat a little bit uh, there, but you know, it's up to uh, the user uh, whether you, you know, which one you want to go with in, in regards to uh, army building these guys. I mean, you could definitely go with the Elite um, because of the die cast metal. It gives you that droid look 
uh, that sheen and that shine uh, that you would get from a, a, a droid body uh, as opposed to the plastic uh, that the Hasbro gives you. I mean, of course, they do a really good job of putting paint apps on there to uh, make it have that metallic look uh, that a robot would have. Um, but of course, you, you don't have to uh, try to make it look like that when, you, when you're already using die cast uh, metal. Uh, but then again, Hasbro is winning uh, on some of the uh, uh, weathering that they give you uh, on K2SO here, uh, where uh, the Elite series is giving you a much cleaner um, droid. So uh, again, it depends on the person and your preferences uh, in regards to uh, which one you want to army build with. So there they are, guys. All right, so uh, we're going to do our comparison, continue this battle on uh, between the Elite and Black Series. Here we have Ray. Now, of course, again, the Elite is on the left, Black Series on the right. And of course, we have uh, all of the accessories uh, that comes with each figure uh, laid at the feet uh, of both of these figures here. Um, now, of course, the Elite Series uh, also provides you with her backpack, uh, which is uh, on the character. Uh, as you can see, the straps on her shoulder. Uh, I showed that backpack earlier. I'm not going to uh, go back over that particular uh, item, but that, that is a part of the accessories that she comes with. Uh, and then, of course, she also comes with the blaster, uh, which would be the, uh, the, the uh, backpack and the blaster would be the two additional uh, items that do not come with the Black Series figure. So, um, looking at uh, the size uh, uh, comparison of the figures, uh, of course the uh, Elite Series is much larger uh, than the Black Series figure. Um, and then also looking at BB-8, uh, he is much, much larger uh, than the BB-8 that you get with the Black Series. Now, the one thing I will uh, say in regards to uh, the appropriate scale, uh, it would seem that the uh, Elite Series BB-8 is a bit too big. Um, he should be a little bit smaller. Uh, I would imagine that the Black Series scale is probably more appropriate uh, versus the, uh, in scale uh, versus Ray. Um, so I, I think uh, Hasbro may have the accuracy uh, more on point there. Uh, both figures use a molded, sculpted outfit. Uh, so uh, the, the uh, outfit is uh, sculpted and molded to uh, each character. Um, and then uh, again, uh, they also carry Luke's light lightsaber as well. And then if you look at the uh, paint apps uh, for each character, now when I initially looked, looking at the Elite Series by itself, uh, without the comparison, uh, the face looked uh, a little cartoony to me. Uh, but then when you put it up against the Black Series, it actually looks a lot better uh, than the Black Series uh, face sculpt. So uh, I have to apologize, Elite Series. You guys actually did a much better job uh, in regards to the face scope. Now, the one thing I will say uh, also is the uh, two little uh, strands of, of hair uh, that has probably become uh, one of her trademarks. Uh, you're not, they're, they're not giving that uh, to you here on the Elite Series. So that is a missed uh, detail. Uh, I would say uh, on the Elite Series side uh, of things here. Um, but uh, obviously the color, uh, the skin color is a lot better on the Elite. Uh, the, even the face scope is a lot better uh, on the Elite Series. Uh, now neither looks uh, like uh, Daisy Ridley at all, uh, but uh, I would have to say the Elite Series did a better job of at least uh, attempting to get uh, somewhat close to her life so guys there it is uh this has probably been the most negative review that i've ever given on uh any figures uh i usually try to keep it very very positive 
Um, and and you know these, some of these figures look great. They they really do. Uh, I I don't know if I would keep them on the shelf, uh, just simply because they are so weighty uh, and tend to fall over uh, at a moment's notice. Uh, so, um, and then of course, uh, I, I think with that stormtrooper, I think I just got a really bad figure uh, there. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna knock Disney on that one. I, I think I that, that's my fault. I should have looked at them in the packaging uh, before I picked them up. So uh, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll take the, the blame on that one, Disney. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock you guys for that. But there, there they are, guys. Uh, your Elite Series figures from Disney. Uh, they are on clearance. So you might wanna check them out if you like how they look. Um, Again, my suggestion would be uh, if you want an army build with the Death Trooper, uh, I think that would be a great pickup, especially for the price. Uh, same with K2SO. Uh, perhaps you want to build an Imperial uh, Force with K2SOs. Uh, he would be a great figure uh, to do that with as well.